Hello, peace and blessings, and thank you for coming to my channel. I appreciate all the love and support. This is your weekly What Do You Need to Surrender reading with a few extra bonus messages. And then towards the end, I'm also going to do love messages, what isn't he or she not telling you, and confessions. So uh, you may want to stick around for that. So this is the collective. It may not resonate, but this is for all 12 zodiac signs. And the first card that I have here is to surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decision. So this woman is here sitting here with this blindfold. So it's pretty much like seeing what it is, but not want to accept what it really is. Know that what you get in this face, face value, like what you see is what you see. That's what it is. And whatever your gut tell, tells you about the situation and how you feel, it goes. So stop trying to make something not be what it is. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to like sugarcoat it or put a mask on it and cover it up like it's okay. No, go for what it is that you want. Stop being stuck and stagnant and choose to go ahead and, you know, rise above whatever it is that you're going through and move forward, okay? Or then we have surrender, low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Know your worth. Know that you are worthy. So whatever limiting uh, doubts or beliefs that you have in your mind about yourself, you need to just go ahead and cut it out and know that this love, success, and abundance wants to come to you. It's knocking on your door, but you're not receiving it because you're too busy wanting to be stuck in low, stagnant situations and listening to dark you know, like negative thoughts just holding you down, trying to tell you that you're not good enough when you are. We have surrendered to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Don't force anything to happen. Just let it come. You have to trust divine timing. That's just, that's just, it is what it is. You're just going to have to sit down, take some seats, and do some other things, you know, work on yourself, find, find something that's really creative, you know, come up with something to do, but just let things flow. Don't force it. Nothing's going to come with the forcing. Then we have surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm. Don't contribute to the drama. Stay centered. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. So there's no need to entertain or give your energy to any type of drama, anything that's negative, anything that makes you feel less than love. You don't need to be a part of it. You don't need to have anybody bring you into it either. So therefore, set yourself apart, you know, choose to want to, you know, be in a better environment or a different environment. And I get it right now. It's, it's a little bit, you know, with this whole restrictions that we have where you have to be homebound. So, you know, you may be stuck in a situation where the drama is really lifted because it's like, I'm stuck with this person. So where am I supposed to go? How am I supposed to, you know, you could maybe go sit in the car or just go sit outside or do something. It's not the easiest thing to do, but if you do take a little bit of time to yourself to take a couple of deep breaths, pray, and just know that this is going to be lifted soon. And then, you know, you can get out and go for whatever it is that you need to go for, that you want to go for. We have surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Yes, you're going to have to take the action to be successful. No need to fear. No need to figure out how you're going to fund it, how you're going to get it. People are going to support you. People are going to like it, whatever. You just have the confidence in yourself to just take that leap. You know, take that first step, even though you don't see the stairs, just do it because the success is right there. It's right there. You could just reach out and get it. You have to go get it. Then we have here. Surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. So everything is happening for a reason. It's right on time. May not be on your time, but just know that everything, you know, you put in the effort and do what you need to do. Stop trying to force things. Get rid of the drama as best as you can or try to figure out a way to make the situation better. Then, you know, everything will start unfolding and you'll start getting everything that you 
desire because we have here fulfillment of wishes is coming for you all in a collective here. Your wishes is about to be here. It's about to be flowing in. You're about to have the prosperity, the abundance of success is on its way. But you're going to have to surrender all those things. You're going to have to just really just let go and just trust the process. And then we also have harmony. We have harmony here with relationships. So any relationships that may be kind of broken or if there's a relationship that you're longing for or wanting to be in, it's going to come in for you. But right now we have here new beginnings is not going to happen just of yet is in reverse. And the reason why it's in reverse is because of all these things on this table here that needs to be surrendered. So once you surrender all these things, then you will have your new beginnings. You will have your fulfillment of wishes. Spirit is telling you to make each day count. Make each day count. We get it. We can't really do too much right now. But, you know, you could at least do something, do something a little bit different. You be creative. You are never alone, so you can always ask on your spirit guides, angels, higher source, higher power, whoever uh, you call on to can help you because you are never alone. You don't have to ever feel alone. You don't have to ever feel um, abandoned or anything like that because they are there. You have an army of beautiful guides and angels and ancestors that's around you, rooting on you each day and helping you to fulfill your dreams. Worry is a wasted emotion. Again, again, this came out last week. There is no need to worry. No need to worry. It's low vibrational. You're not going to be able to manifest if you sit here with worry, anger, fear, anxiety, any of them things. Nothing's going to come in for you. Release it the best way that you know how. It's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. That is your portion of the what do you need to surrender. Now I'm going to get into what isn't he or she now telling you. These are love messages for um, it could be the person that you're dealing with, someone who you're not dealing with, or someone who's on your mind. And then also to confessions from that person as well okay so the first one that came out for the collective is i would be heartbroken if you get with someone else so the person on your mind will be heartbroken if you get with someone else they really want to be with you they're really trying to work out whatever it is that they need to work out so that they could come to you because they want to be with you so bad the person on your mind is saying there's something i want to give to you so whoever you're thinking about they want to give you something they you know, they want to put that smile in your face. They love how you smile. I'm just seeing the smile in my hair right now. It's so beautiful. And it's just like, they just really just love your smile. Y'all love how each other smile. It's just a really beautiful smile. And it just brings you to some type of place of peace and just, just love. It's so beautiful. And then uh, I can't see my future with anyone else. So this person just wants to be with you. You know, they... They want to be with you. You know, they cannot see themselves with anyone else but you. You are their heart. You are their, you know, their divine lover. That's who they want to be with. That's who they feel that, you know, they was put on earth to be with. The um, I want to spend the holidays with you. This person want to spend the holidays with you. They just want to be with you. They want to be around you. They just really, truly enjoy you. Everything about you. Okay. <laughs> Your MILF material. Okay. I don't know who that's for, but you know, hey. Your person, whoever's on your mind, you know, again, this is for a collective. So this could be a small portion of whoever's watching the video. Who, the person that's on your mind thinks you're MILF material. Okay. And lastly, I sometimes reject attention from the karmic. So this is for those who is with um, someone who they claim they don't want to be with, you know, a karmic, an ex-lover. You know, they say they reject attention from them. Okay. And then some of the confessions here, this is going a little bit more deep into what could possibly be holding them back from uh, coming forward or, you know, being the partner that you need them to be, you know, being completely aligned together so that everything can work out the way that you want to be. I felt abandoned in my childhood. So the person on your mind felt abandoned during their childhood. So this could be part of the reason why maybe they run away or, you know, why they may have abandonment issues or decide to continue to go into relationships as low vibrational instead of being with the person who they truly want to be with the one that they are meant to be with is because of you know needing to heal abandonment issues and then i drink heavy to numb so the person on your mind drinks a lot and they, they drink so heavy because they want to numb the pain the feelings the the loaning to wanting to be with you and to just you know oh yeah they just heavy addictions, just whatever they can to numb the pain because they are just heartbroken not being able to be with you. And then we have introspection. And then there's anger trapped in me. 
And then I play victim so I don't look bad. All right, so those were your messages. I sure hope that you all enjoyed the reading. If you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I pray that you all have the most wonderful day, evening, night. I love you. I love you. I love you. Peace and blessings to you all.